Are you using Windows 10 on your laptop or desktop? Microsoft is about to force you to upgrade. From 14 October 2025, Microsoft will end the support for Windows 10 operating systems, meaning your PC will stop receiving security updates after that unless you do something about it. In this video, you will see five ways to keep your Windows 10 PC alive. Pay for the extended security update program. The first way to keep using your Windows 10 PC after the end of the support date is to opt for the extended security update program. Although you need to pay Microsoft for this service, if the cost of upgrading to the latest OS is much higher than paying for security updates, you can go for it. Microsoft will only provide security fixes in the updates. There will not be any new features. This program will be available for three years, and subscription is expected to be yearly based. Microsoft hasn't announced a price for the ESU yet. We will update you when they announce. This is the best, most hassle way to use your Windows 10 PC. Upgrade your unsupported PC to Windows 11. Upgrading to Windows 11 from Windows 10 is free, so you don't have to pay anything if you decide to upgrade. The real problem is the Windows 11 hardware requirement. You might be hesitating to upgrade as your PC doesn't meet the hardware requirement. However, there are workarounds for these requirements. You may use the Rufus tool to bypass these requirements. The link for this tool is in the description. Microsoft has warned that you might not receive updates in the future if your PC doesn't meet the requirements. However, people who are using it are not facing any problems so far. So you can go for it. Switch to Linux. If you no longer want to use Windows, you can opt for the Linux operating system for your desktop PC. It's a reliable operating system. People think that the Linux operating system doesn't support Windows software and peripherals, but you will be surprised how much it is functional and easy to use. You can try Ubuntu, which is a popular Linux distribution, or you can try W Ubuntu. Its interface is much like Windows 11 and supports Windows software. We have a separate video on W Ubuntu where we have showcased its features. You can check that. Install Google's Chrome OS Flex. You can opt for Google Chrome OS. Yes, Chrome OS comes pre-installed with Chromebook usually, but there is an operating system named Chrome OS Flex that can be used on existing PCs. So if you have decided to ditch Windows 10 and don't want to pay for updates, you can use Chrome OS Flex on your old machines. With this OS, some of your hardware or software might not work, but if you need a basic PC to browse the internet or mostly use web services, it is a good fit for you. Use Windows 10 without security updates. If none of the options doesn't fit you, the one thing you can do is keep using your Windows 10 without security updates, though we don't recommend it as it is very risky. Hackers keep looking for loopholes in the operating systems continuously. Whenever a new vulnerability is detected, developers fix it with security updates. No updates mean your PC is out there in the open for hackers to keep trying to infect. The only secure way to use Windows 10 without security updates is to disconnect it from all foreign media, including the internet and USBs. So you can continue using it, but there is always a risk. So these are the five ways to keep your Windows 10 PC alive.